Hi everybody, this is the update for June 1st um, from morning visit. I can hardly believe it's June already. Um, so, I didn't do an update last night because I found myself in a really lousy mood. I didn't really want to pass that along um, too terribly much. I know that I'm trying to keep my energies strong and positive and the nurse last night was the same nurse that just the one that I talked about before that just isn't like the others and you know the the suction they kept the yonker canyon suction cannula stuffed under Mike's pillow they didn't connect the suction back to the trach and so it's making this awful you know noise right by his head and I don't know how long it had been there like that and I said you know like I would like to disconnect this like I'd like to not make that be by his head and whatever so it's an awful sound and she says well he can't hear so it doesn't matter like, yes he friggin can because if you're doing your assessments and you're asking him if he can squeeze your hand with your toes all that kind of stuff um you would know he can hear so and where were you in nursing school Anyway, so I got really grumpy about that because like I'm just, I'm not quite as patient as I, as Mike says, used to was. And yeah, so I had a very lousy night and as far as that goes, she just was a grumpy person and not very pleasant to be around. And so I did my Reiki and came back. Today is another day. Um, he has a team of dudes caring for him. His uh, lung compliance is much worse today than it was yesterday. Numbers wise was 17 yesterday and is now 9. Um, I have no idea, no words, I don't even know. I'm out of what to do. I'm going to do some research, I guess, to try to see if anything holistically I could do. The doctors won't allow me to give him that second dose of Actamra. So my only next step is the drug study. I spoke to them about that. They're all for it, which I don't get because it's... A, same class of drug um, so I'm not sure why they're willing to support me if my decision is to go ahead with the drug study which is what Mike said he wanted he, he said when he could you know was nodding and that kind of stuff when I was able to ask him questions and stuff and I read him all of the the whole consent form and everything he nodded that he understood and nodded that yes he wanted to participate and then things just kind of went south so <sighs> yeah and he still qualifies um the doctor that's doing the research has reviewed his uh, charts and whatnot and um so i have to make that decision i'm waiting for the culture samples to come back today. I had an x-ray this morning. I didn't get to see it um, close up. What I saw from a distance either looked like just like the rest or maybe, I don't know. Like I don't even want to comment because it just feels really bad right now. Like just need a miracle truly. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to... I don't even know what to do. But I keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. Um, just about to head back there. I had to change my linens and vacuum my hotel room. 
so I decided to come back and do that today. I might go for a little walk before I go back, just to clear my head a little. And, um, yeah, so please keep sending him messages. And I've asked the doc to try to wake him up a little bit more. You know, they're concerned, though, with withdrawal um, because he's been on the benzodiazepines and the narcotics for quite some time now. And so he's given him a, a medication orally, well, through the, through the nasogastric tube that sort of they use with alcoholics and stuff to help with withdrawals and so yeah um when he's more alert like when i bug him you know a little bit or when there's music playing he actually he initiates breath so that's still there he's still 100 percent on ecmo he just needs compliance in his lungs he needs those lungs to soften and they're diuresing him like crazy um you know, he was down two liters of fluid yesterday. So meaning what they're putting in and what they're taking out, they took out two extra liters than what they put in to try to give his lungs like every possible, you know, if there's fluid in his lungs, they're trying to tap that off. And he diureses really well, but the problem is then it also creates a problem for the ECMO a little bit because the volume isn't the same that's circulating and so it's the machines trying to circulate a particular volume and it can't pull that off like it, it I don't know but anyway so yeah that's where we are today I don't know anything more the two doctors that are on are one is a cardiologist uh, studying intensive care and the other one is an intensivist and his um, and the ECMO program is his so I just wish I would have had them last week because I really honestly believe that that doc pushing it is what caused damage to his lungs because he was his lungs were compliant to get really big air in there. And the doctor did say today that, you know, there can be respirator damage. And so that's what I think happened. And, you know, they just keep saying, oh, this is COVID. So does COVID mean then you don't have to take responsibility for if you've done something incorrectly again I you know I hate to be so angry and I I don't I can't say for certain but I just this is my beloved and that's all I'll say today so far Please stay safe and keep your loved ones close. Let them know that you love them as often as you can. And please keep sending messages to Mike, okay? I need to give him something. I love you all. Talk later.